Every reefer comes to a point where they ask themselves, hey, I should set up another tank. When people get into this hobby, they either fizzle out from tank crashes or failures, or they're always setting up a new tank or planning the next upgrade. I can say after 15 or 16 years of doing this, I still have the bug. So I have a single video that I uploaded in 2023 of the Pico tank that I set up. The Pico tank is still going pretty well. The leathers are growing fast, but the recording have seen better days and the zoos are just kind of doing so-so. I'm getting tired of maintaining this small tank. The water changes are easy because I'll pull almost 100% of that water out, put in water from my display tank when I'm doing a water change. So it's really easy to do that. But with the small dimensions and the water level being so high, getting in there to clean the glass or do any sort of cleaning in the tank is a pain in the ass. Also, it's too small to have an auto top off unit. So I find myself having to add water every couple days. And usually I don't remember until it starts blowing air bubbles everywhere. So here's how I got my wife to agree to having a bigger tank set up. So I put this little four gallon Pico tank right next to her coffee maker. I said, hey, it's just a small tank. Uh, it's not gonna get in the way. So she said, all right, whatever. Over several months, she starts to get annoyed that it's in her way every morning when she makes coffee. So I said, why don't I set up a different tank in a different area and then you'll get all of your space back on your coffee bar. Fine, get it out of my face. So long story short, the Pico tank, while doing well, it's too small to clean. The flow is too high for the overflow weir. So it's the water level is always really high. If I tune it down, it's not enough flow for the corals. Um, so in typical reef junkie fashion, instead of getting rid of it in the corals, I'm going to upgrade it to a 25 gallon water box. My idea is to have it be as self-sufficient as possible. I have the typical reef tank already. So with this tank, I don't want to set up a mini version of that. I want to do something different. So I'm thinking of making this like a true lagoon. Um, big open sand bed, smaller island rocks with just a few corals, let them grow huge so there's not a lot of rock in the tank. And then at some point I would like to put a mangrove in the back and let it, the roots come down and kind of have that whole vibe going. It is in this nice window here. So I have a window on one side and then these picture windows on another very sunny area, not always direct sunlight, just in the evening. And I have blinds here that I can put the blinds down if it gets too much. My biggest fear in this spot is, well, I guess there's two. Light will make algae on the glass, and I hate cleaning algae off glass. And then two, so these windows in the summer can act like a greenhouse and it can get really hot next to the window. So my office desk is here right in this window so I know that it gets pretty warm in the summer. There is an HVAC vent right up here. So hopefully with that and a fan, I can keep it regulated in the summer. And then in the winter, these windows do get a little chilly, but we keep our house pretty warm and I'll have a pretty beefy uh, heater in there. So I'm not too worried about keeping it warm but in the summer it could get a little hot. So I might have to keep uh, the, the blinds closed when it gets really hot. With the light, all this natural sunlight and the algae, I'm gonna keep this tank simple, but I will put a UV in it. So again, the whole idea of this tank is I want it to be super simple, super clean. So as far as equipment, it's gonna be this water box tank. Um, I made the stand out of extruded aluminum that I had left over from uh, when I renovated my apartment. I'll have a video on making that stand as well. So the equipment's gonna be a DC return pump, mechanical filtration. I might try one of those manual filter fleece rollers that you can you know, buy on eBay or Etsy. UV filter and a heater. Other than that, I'm hoping I don't need a power head. I'm gonna try to prank up the return pump to provide enough flow. So as far as livestock in the tank, I want 60 to 70% of the sand bed to be open. And then I just want a few small short rocks, um, kind of islands and bombies around there where I can have some larger leather corals grow up. 
maybe some zoanthids and all of my euphelia I'm going to pull out of my display tank. That should give it a nice different feel than just a big pile of rocks with a shitload of corals everywhere. I definitely do not want a crowded tank, so I'm going to keep it nice and open and hopefully bright. Kind of give you that lagoonal or shoreline type reef. As for fish, I was thinking of just getting several peaceful fish or maybe like a trio of something that can handle each other. I'm going to put together some videos for this build. Um, I'm going to start with the stand and then I'm going to do filling the tank, adding fish, and overall final result. So this video series, they're not going to be long form videos like my big tank upgrade videos, but it'll just be shorter more concise videos, so stay tuned.